Hello, my name is Chloe Taylor. I'm a senior respiratory therapy student here at Jacksonville State University. And today I'm gonna to show you how to draw an arterial blood gas. So prior to drawing your blood gas, you should check in the chart to make sure there is an order because this is an invasive procedure. And two, you should perform an Allen's test on the extremity that you're gonna be pulling the gas from to check for collateral circulation. So I have a ABG kit, which consists of a 22 gauge and a 23 gauge needle. Today, I'll be using the small needle. It has an alcohol prep pad, a gauze, a band-aid, and a label for your syringe. So first, we'll clean the site with an alcohol prep pad. We'll allow that side a couple seconds to dry. While that's drying, I'll get my needle. I'll go ahead and draw back to one milliliter, which is adequate for a blood gas. I'll make sure my bevel is facing up so the syringe can feel how it should. And I'll make sure that I have a gauze on standby so I can compress the site when I remove the needle. Okay, after you've cleaned the site and your bevel is up, you can remove your cap. 30 degree angle is best when trying to get the blood gas. And after the syringe is full, you'll remove the needle. There's a safety cap on to keep you from pricking yourself that you will close. Continue to compress the site until the bleeding stops. Once the bleeding has stopped, you can apply a bandage. After that you have your blood gas, we can apply this cap that will help prevent blood clots. It only works if you do it correctly. And press some of the blood up into it. It's important that this gas is ran within 15 minutes. If it's gonna take you longer to get the gas ran, um, putting the gas on ice will help keep your values accurate. After you get your blood gas, you will first assess it by looking at your pH to determine acid-base balance. Second, you'll take a look at your CO2 and your bicarb to determine where that disturbance is coming from. And third, you will check for compensation to see if the kidneys are compensating or if the respiratory system is compensating for the issue at hand. And you will adjust based on those labs.